I'm Dwayne Rolfs of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. For Friday, March 18th, our reading is from the fourth chapter of Romans, verses 13 through 18. For the promise that he would inherit the world did not come to Abraham or to his descendants through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. If it, if it is the adherents of the law who are to be the heirs, faith is dull and the promise is void. For the law brings wrath, but where, is the, where there is no law, neither is there violation. For this reason, it depends on faith. In order that the promise may rest on grace and be guaranteed to all his descendants, not only to the adher adher adherents of the law, but also to those who share the faith of Abraham. For he is the father of all of us. As it is written, I have made you the father of many nations. In the presence of the God in whom we believe, we gives life to the dead and calls into existence the things that do not exist. Hoping against hope, he believed that he would become the father of many nations, according to what was said. So numerous shall your descendants be. Word of the Lord. This promise is for us that the promise may rest on grace and be guaranteed to all who share the faith of Abraham. Verse 16. It must be all the years with Sunday school, Bible camp, and youth cramp group kids. I, I can't read about Abraham without breaking into song. An, an online search for Father Abraham lyrics yields a religious version and one used at scouts camp, scout camp. Both get singers up and moving. Kids and adults either love the song or can't stand it. At least they're successful in getting the wiggles out. So we sing, Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham. Biblical scholars can debate the possible numbers of sons and daughters. Beyond the song's silliness is this true statement. I am one of them. So are you. Clearly the Apostle Paul spent a lot of time pondering the bizarre story of Abraham. A story of faith that led to belief even amid doubt and hardship. Because God was faithful, Abraham and Sarah's faith held fast in the face of testing. By the power of the Holy Spirit, so can ours. It's enough to make you do what as the Abraham song, Abraham song your urges. So let's just praise the Lord. Our prayer. God help us believe what we cannot see that your promise is also for us. In Jesus' name, amen. Please join me in the Lord's prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.